Welcome back YouTube. So today we're doing a quick one on tallow. And so I have two bags of fat and I'm just gonna kind of dump it out a little bit just to show you some of the fat. And you can, well, you can use any fat. I'm using specific fat that I got mostly from heart and you can see this is from heart and some of the harder fat that I got from some of the other organs. And so uh, generally though, this is heart trimmings, pretty much all of it. Um, the vast majority at least, with a little bit of other hard fat. And the harder the fat, the better. Now you'll see that there's some meat and protein mixed in. This one's actually quite meaty, probably. Uh, oh, it's got, a, it's got a hard part in it as well, that's why. Um, and don't worry about putting a little bit of meat in. Um, you know, you won't ruin the towel. It's going to get crispy and we're going to pull it out later. So all I'm doing is it, I'm throwing in this big pot here, you can see. And I'm going to do the same thing I do with bone broth. So I'm just going to throw it all inside. And, uh, and then I'm gonna put it on the like low one or, or uh, under two at least and let it simmer for about 72 hours. Now the only important thing to do is to keep the lid off because we want all the water to evaporate so that we're left with just the fat. So uh, we'll see you again in like three days from now. All right. Hello Bye YouTubers. All right, so I let the tallow sit for a while and I'm gonna bring it down so everyone can see it. You can see all the fat pretty much has melted off and we have some crispy kind of protein left over. I'm going to filter this and I'm not going to eat the remnants, although apparently some people do. Um, so what I have here is I have a screen and some uh, cheesecloth and I'm just going to pour this over the bowl. And it's a bit of a difficult process to do, so I'm just going to do it in the sink so that if I screw up, I don't get it all over the place uh, just because I don't have the best uh, strainer. But uh, once I do this, it will go pretty quick. There we go. And so you'll notice that the tallow is dark color and it's still pretty hot here. It just seems to be working okay. Um, it's a dark color. And uh, you might be surprised to find out that this is going to uh, turn white when we're done. Um, and the harder uh, the fat, the uh, like the the hard fat that I got from the from the hearts, the harder the fat, the more white this will end up, even though it looks a little bit uh, a little bit less than white at the moment. I'm just trying to get as much as I can out of here, and all right, that looks pretty good. And the rest of this I'm going to toss. Like I said, some people apparently eat the uh, the remnants, which are crispy. Some people really quite like them. I'm not a huge fan myself, so I'm going to toss those. So that's garbage. For me and just one more look here you can see what the strained tallow looks like i'm gonna put this in the fridge and even though it's a dark honey like gold color i suspect it will turn out uh, very bright white once it's uh, cooled down so we'll show you this tallow and i have some previously made tallows which i'll show you um at a different fat so this was hard fat the softer fat is a bit more uh orangey or yellower when it dries and we'll show you some to compare uh, but we'll let this sit for, you know, overnight and we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back YouTube. So I finally actually got around to doing the tallow. I had it in the fridge for a little longer than I originally expected, but here's the bowl. I did a little bit of scrape off the top just because it's been in there for a little while. And uh, there we go, it comes out. And you can see there's a little bit of dark stuff on the bottom. I'll probably cut that off. Um, and actually I'll just kind of do that now. I'll show you that probably, I'm guessing, that that's probably just a little bit of a layer that if I take that off, yes, you can see it's a little bit. So I'm gonna take that layer off just cause it had a little bit of sen sediment that uh, didn't strain very well. And underneath it's going to be, uh, yeah, nice and clean. You can see the difference. So I'll finish that a little bit later, uh, but I'm gonna chop this up. So let me just show you the inside and the inside will be clean all the way through. And it's just gonna break apart. There we go. And you can see just how clean that looks. So I'll continue to scrape off just a little bit of that uh, sediment that kind of came in. And I'll chop this up into pieces. And you'll see over here, I have a bag from the last batch I did. And so here's the tallow I have in this bag. It's nice and white. And if you compare the colors, actually, this one's a little bit more yellow, a little bit darker, uh, just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit darker. Uh, this was, uh, I thought all of it was pure heart um, fat, but maybe there was a little something else mixed into this one. Um, and just to compare then, I have a third set of tallow. So here's some tallow that I made out of um, beef fat trimmings. So this was not the hard white fat that's usually part of the uh, kidney or heart fat around it. Uh, this was made from beef fat and you can see that this is actually soft like butter almost. 
And it's a little darker. I'll, I'll take out a take out a big chunk here, just oh, so it doesn't break apart. It, this was in the fridge, and it's still soft like butter. Uh, you know, uh, you can see the difference in color. It's definitely more yellow, especially if you compare against this other one. Definitely a more yellow uh, look to it. Um, and so this is the tallow that right now I'm using to fry things in. Um, and the other tallow, uh, I could do the same, uh, but I tend to do deep frying um, or sometimes I even just eat it. Uh, not so much any recently, but I, I was eating this for a while just on its own for pure calories. Anyway, there you go. So there's the tallow that we made. Like I said, I'm going to finish just shaving off some of this sediment and then I'm going to chop this up and put it in a bag and store it in the freezer. And it could last for, you know, months in the fridge, but um, it will last for years in the freezer. So I'm going to chop this up a little bit and then I'll use it for cooking or if I want to, I could have a little bit of it uh, if I'm really in the mood. Uh, like I say, I was eating it for a while. I haven't been eating uh, this much fat recently, um, getting my calories a little bit more mixed. Um, anyway, there we go. So making tallow. Have a great day, YouTube. We'll see you next time.